Story Cup 9 North America qualifiers. Boys and girls, it's the semifinals match. It's the best of three between possibly the best Zerg and the best Terran we can hope for. Uh, the, only thing, the only other match that would contend with this, honestly, would be if Violet made it to the finals and Polt did as well. But, uh, of course, I think a lot of us are rooting for Hengelisk. We'll see how this ends up going. He's spawning in the top left corner of the map. We've been following him all gosh darn day. And we follow him once more into the fray. Spawning in the top left corner of the map. He's red. He's Zerg. He's from Complexity Sound Blaster. Ladies and gentlemen, Hendralisk. And his opponent in the lower central portion of the map from CM Storm. Kind of went a little bit dark after uh, after WCS. He's been streaming a lot lately and kicking ass while doing so. The blue player, CM Storm's Pulse. Now again, we'll keep we'll keep bets open for the duration of this first game. It gives you guys a bit of a taste, a bit of a flavor. You can see how it's going to go, and we'll close bets afterwards. I know I didn't do that for the last series, but there was a whole delay issue. Uh, that being said, we'll see how this one actually pans out. This will not be an easy match by any means for either of these players. Again, I think Pult's the clear favorite to win this. He's got the record to back it up. He's been through WCS, and he's an overall badass. There's a little bit of a, a sweet spot in my heart for Pult too. Not just because I'm Terran, but before WCS started out, if you guys uh, ever caught Base Straight TV once upon a time, we mostly covered only the Zotec Cups, and Pult relentlessly played the Zotec Cups. In fact, he's the only person to have actually dethroned Hyun as far as like wins for like online tournaments go, uh, specifically within the, the Zotec Cup at least. But uh, he's been out of it for a while. He focused a lot on WCS. He stopped taking part in a lot of the online cups in, the, in order to improve his tournament play. Worth noting, Hyun did the same thing, by the way, and has had great results as well. But Polt has been uh, a bit of a, I don't know, just the scariest dude you could run into, bottom line. Uh, now he's going to open the Reaper. And if I'm going to be quite honest with you guys, after watching Polt stream the other day, he's been holding off some crazy cheeses. And if Hendrils decides to cheese at any point in this series, I think that's going to be suicide for him. So he's going to have to take it to the macro game. Now, I do want to stress, guys, we've built Polt up. We've talked about him. He's our favorite, blah, 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 blah. But Hendrisk has beaten Polt in the past. He's beaten Jakshi in the past. Hendrisk is this kind of like unlikely Zerg player who's kicked a lot of Terran ass, and nobody's heard of him, and that's what breaks my heart. Uh, so being a fellow Canadian and a Hendrisk fan in the first place, uh, I think he's got a fair shot at taking the series. But again, for neither of this play, neither of these players will this be a walkover. Uh, well, this is going on. Shout out to Space Duck or Spec Three Duck, <laughs> definitely Space Duck. Thanks for that sub, man. We'll be bundling up replays from today's tournament and handing it out to our subs, of course. So, uh, if you are a subscriber to the channel, not only are you earning double part two, so you get all ten of our emoticons to your dis uh, I guess taste and disposure, but also you get replay packs from tournaments we cast, which is pretty rad. Anyways, this first Reaper gets a kill. First, not a good start here for Hengelisk. But uh, he can almost kill the Reaper. <laughs> oh boy, he actually almost kills the Reaper. If you cut that off, maybe, maybe, maybe. It's, it's always hard to, uh, it's always hard to out-micro these things, of course. On creep is the only way you can really fight it until queens are out. There's no, no definitive way to shut these down. But Pult did not leave his second Reaper at home. Brought it across the map. If Hendrix had been able to sneak two Zerglings out of the natural, he may have been able to send it across the map to kill the SCV here. But Pult is making a third. This is the, what I was talking about a little bit earlier today when we had intense play. Talking about taking two Reapers versus three. The meta shifts quite a bit per region, guys, and eh, of course, bottom line comes down to player preference, but Hendrix, who doesn't classically go for heavy queen counts early on, may end up suffering to this. Now, granted, Metabolic Boost is coming, there's eight more links about to pop, and he, he did the same sort of opener earlier today, again, keep in mind, but uh, three Reapers is really meant to kill queens, and once the first queen falls, they snowball pretty hard out of control. So, uh, the downside is he didn't really kill the war the Zerglings earlier on. Oh, almost gets a surround there! That would have been really nice for Hentrils, of course, but pushes them out of the base. Unfortunately, also reveals that he made additional Zerglings. So for Pult, if he doesn't prioritize the wall, he'll definitely prioritize at least getting this bunker set. But, oh no. Only Reapers will be inside the bunker, quite frankly, guys. And Reapers... They're pretty good at dancing versus Zerglings, but they're not good at fighting them. Their DPS is not the most insane thing in the world. And this bunker, it's going to get repaired, granted, but the supply depots aren't finished. Hendrix can be trying to focus these down and break through this wall. Ah, uh, but decides not to. He doesn't know what's behind this. He knows Hellings are soon to be out too, so he's not going to take that risk. But still, you invest in a lot of Zerglings early on like this, it means two things. One, your throat is going to be severely delayed. And two, you have to take a good fight. If he loses even like a quarter of these, or less to those Hellions, he's not going to have many Banelings to fight with later. Now, he's going to go for the Roach bus that we saw earlier today. It is again coming off of two bases. If we're going to be quite frank and honest, guys, my favorite way to watch this get done is, well, not this, but like the, the, my favorite all-in, I should say, from a Zerg player. Roach Banling off three bases. If there's one player I could reference that does it perfectly, it's freaking Hyun. But, uh, 
Pendulisk is uh, taking a slightly different approach. Let's do this off of two with Roaches and Zerglings instead of Banlings. Mm, the nice thing about Zerglings is, you know, you retain them for round two. Uh, he's going to get up here and there's actually no defenses. So he'll chip away the wall for free. This might bring Holt back home, but he can just repair this indefinitely with those CDs. I love that he segmented off one Zergling to scout for the, the retaliation. But rather than coming home, he's moving across the map. And there's enough Reapers in this. Like, two Reapers is not a lot, but three Reapers is enough to actually start poking away at some of the Roaches. Uh, a couple of the overlords are going to be picked off due to the Polt Viking. This is kind of his, i got to say, like, honestly, in StarCraft 2, this is kind of his signature move. I wouldn't call it, it's not even the base sniping versus Protoss. It's not even the uh, the multi-drops he constantly has versus Zerg players. It is, uh, <laughs> it, it's going to be the fact that he always makes one Viking that tends to give him a lot of kills. Now, this push up the ramp for Hendrilisk, it's not really meant to kill the bunker. Uh, if it can, that's great, but the idea is you want this to kill the SCVs behind the bunker. The fact that he's focusing on the bunker and not the SCVs, there we go. Now he's starting to swap it around. Uh, but I fear too many roaches may have already gone down. He's not going to be able to really one volley these down. And the Zerglings are just being fried alive. This attack is not looking to be too worthwhile for Angelus. But he's slowly but surely picking off the SCVs. Woodmine's about to pro and he needs to back away from this, recognizing that's the case. Woodmine's go off on just about nothing. And Zerglings come back for this round on top of the bunker. But there's just not enough DPS here and he's not focusing the SCVs. This... Seems like it's all for naught for poor Angelus. Pulls back away from this, but look what he's done behind this, guys. Two additional bunkers came down. So even if this first one breaks with the Banshee and the Zerglings, or sorry, with the Banshee and the, the Marauder combined with these Hellions and these Widow Mines, Angelus is going to break this. This was all in. GG is going to be called, and Pult will take game number one in this best of three series.